Welcome back to Plants Not Plastic. I'm Nikita and I bring you recipes that are delicious, inexpensive, simple, and healthy. Today I am bringing you another kitchen tip, this time for how to prep, cut, and store garlic. I wanna show you this tip today because garlic is really a staple in stovetop cooking or really anything that's not a dessert. Um, and I think that a lot of people go to the store and buy pre-minced garlic or garlic in a paste because they think that it's difficult to prep it at home. So I wanna show you a couple of simple tips that will make it easier for you to be able to prep garlic yourself rather than getting something that's pre-processed at the store. Once you've done it a couple times, it'll become really easy, mindless, something that you can do day in and day out. And it'll also save you money because a full head of garlic is a lot cheaper than buying something that's already in a jar or a tube. So today I'm gonna show you three ways to remove the skin, three basic ways to cut it, and then two ways that I store it. Starting with a full head of garlic, you're gonna remove all of the outer layers of skin first. The easiest way to do this is to use your thumbs to push the skin from the top down to the roots of the head of garlic. You'll see this starts to expose the outer cloves on the head of garlic, and then you should be able to just pop them off one by one. Depending on how much you're using, I will just take off however many cloves I need and then leave the rest of it. This will keep it fresher for longer. First, I'm gonna show you the method that I use most often to remove skin from cloves of garlic. So you're gonna take the whole clove um, and you're gonna apply pressure while twisting your hands in opposite directions and you'll go back and forth until you break the skin. Once you've gotten it to crack open, you should be able to peel the skin off easily. This is the best method if you want whole cloves of garlic um, and you just want a couple of them. If you wanna be able to slice them to put them into something like a fresh pasta sauce or a stir fry where you wanna keep the whole clove intact. So you may have a little bit of trouble with this method depending on just the variety of garlic that you've gotten. Um, I will run into garlic that just is harder to get the skin off of, that is maybe harder in general and that can cause it to break. If that's the case, what you can do is cut the bottom off first because that will make it a little bit easier for the skin to come apart. The second method is if you are going to be mincing it um, and you don't really care about it staying as a whole clove. You can also use the second method if you have really hard garlic and you're not able to get the skin off easily using the first method. From what I've seen, this is the most common method used by chefs. Um, and you'll just take your knife using the flat part, putting it over the top of the clove of garlic. And then I use the back of my hand to hit the knife and crack the skin off of the clove. What you'll notice is that this method tends to crush the garlic. So that's why you wanna use it if you're just going to be mincing it. I tend to only use this third method if I'm removing the skin from a lot of garlic, like if I'm doing batch cooking or if I'm storing it. So you'll need a container for this. You'll take however many cloves of garlic um, you're gonna be you're gonna be removing the skin from. Um, you'll put them whole with with the bottoms on them directly into the container, um, and then you're just gonna shake the jar. So this is pretty ridiculous, but it works really well. I promise. Um, you're just gonna shake it literally as hard as you can. I'd say shake it for about 30 seconds. It may not remove the skin completely, but it should loosen them up to make it really easy to be able to take them off. Let's see how we did. You can see a couple pieces came off completely. And with what's left, it's put cracks in the skin so that you should be able to get the skin off pretty easily. As you could see with this method, it is a little bit of a workout, but it does a really good job of taking the skins off easily. The first method that I'm gonna show you is a basic slice. Um, so with any clove, um, you wanna start by taking just a little root off and getting rid of that. I have found the easiest way to keep my fingers out of the way is you take your thumb or a finger um, on the edge of the clove of garlic, that's the smallest part, so like the very tip, and then you're just going to use like a rocking motion um, to make really nice even slices. You can go slow, you don't have to go fast in order to look cool like a professional chef. 
So you would use this method if you want to have kind of larger pieces of garlic um, for things like a fresh pasta sauce or a stir fry or something where you want those like big pieces of garlic and that good flavor. The next method that I'm going to show you is a finer slice. And again, the way that I would do this is start by cutting off the little root and then I'll actually cut it in half lengthwise. And then you lay the flat sides down and you would just slice it the same way as before, rocking your knife as you go. The last method I'm gonna show you is a mince. Um, and again, start by cutting off the root. And then um, what you'll do is crush it. And you wanna crush it hard where it's almost like you're trying to flatten the clove of garlic. And then put a little bit of salt on it to keep the oils um, from absorbing into the cutting board. The salt will also help you to get a finer mince. So the first time that you cut through, um, you're gonna make like a little claw out of your hand to hold it all together while you use that same rocking motion to cut it. And then I collect it back into a bunch and I'll use my other hand on the top of the knife um, as I chop it again. In terms of storing garlic, I have two ways that I do that. Um, the first of which is just to leave the whole heads of garlic out on the counter until I'm ready to use them. I have heard that garlic will last for up to six months this way, but we go through ours way faster than that, so I can't tell you whether or not that's actually true. Um, what I can tell you is that leaving it this way until we're ready to use it, um, it's pretty much the only storing method that we need. The second method that we use and have been using more recently because garlic has still actually been pretty difficult to find at the store for us, is when we do find it, we'll buy a lot of it and then um, pre-skin it and put it into the freezer as whole cloves. You can see with these, we've already cut off the top, taken off the skin. Um, these are gonna be pretty similar to like the pre-skinned garlic that you'd find at the store. Even frozen, you can still cut them just fine with a good knife um, and throw them into your recipes and they'll work just as well as fresh garlic. I mentioned that prepping garlic at home is gonna save you money. So at least for where I live, a head of garlic is 50 cents um, and a jar of minced garlic is $2.19, which is the equivalent of about 80 cents per head. And if you were to buy a um, like bottle of garlic paste, um, that is $4.69, which is the equivalent of $1.95 per head of garlic. Um, so buying that head fresh, prepping it yourself is gonna save you money over time. Um, and at least for paste, um, a lot of the ones that I've seen actually have oil in them. So if that's something that you're concerned about, that would be a consideration for buying it from the store as opposed to making it or prepping it yourself. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please do subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I put out new content. You can also subscribe to my blog at plantsnotplastic.com as well as follow me on social media. All that information is detailed below in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.